So here's methanol, here's heptane, and we have two pieces of filter paper soaking in, in one in each. And all we're going to do is we're going to take those out, tape them to the table, and run what their temperatures are. So the temperatures are going to be run on here so that you can see what happens when we let these two evaporate over time. So the heptane is in blue. Okay, so we just have both of them evaporating right there. And, and what you see happening is, is that the heptane is cooling down very, very quickly. So as those two things are vaporizing, the heptane is, is being pushed by the metal. And when it leaves as a vapor, instead of being the liquid on there, then the metal pieces that are pushing it slow down. And so over time, it's getting colder and colder as more and more of this vaporizes. Now, the heptane is easier to push away. The methanol is more difficult, but the, uh, the heptane gets pushed away a lot more frequently. And so over time, you're seeing that the temperature of the one with the heptane on it is getting smaller and smaller, lower and lower. So we can gather information about the intermolecular forces of these by doing this experiment, and we can compare which one will vaporize more quickly and produce a larger cooling effect. So right now the heptane is at 8.9 degrees, and there's at seven, just under 17. It looks like they're starting to level off.